Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the second week in December. Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign, and Venus. And for this reading, we have the Angels, Ancestors, Oracles. Four messages at the end of the reading. And the new deck, the Light Seers Tarot. Take love, so what mostly connects with you. And if you, at some point, you feel, like, well, wait a little bit, this is not my energy. Be very mindful, it might be the energy of whom you are dealing or the situation you are into. And of course, in the end, take what mostly connects and feels like your energy. General readings might highly be resonating and luckily or unfortunately might not an overarching energy for the week we have nine of cups a wish fulfillment or you are going towards a wish fulfillment six of pentacles page of wands eight of cups there is something here coming to you, Pisces. You know, that saying, be aware what you wish for, you might get it. But as well, there is certain things here that needs to be balanced. Six of Pentacles. Many times Six of Pentacles speaks that is overindulgence or might not be enough what you are will receive. Yes, you feel like, well, I got this but might not be exactly as you would like to or want. You get a message or you get something here in a form of message. But it's kind of like don't, don't get lost into the things that, wow, came up finally and things like that. Because I feel here... For some of you, it how it's come, that's how it goes. Or you might not feel that is the way you want it. But it's kind of like, at least I see something. Let's see what this is about. As well, very much speaks about balance or you know your own limits. Here you are, justice, yes, the balance, Libra energy. Or you need to be or act like a Libra. Eight of Swords. It's kind of whatever it's coming here. You might not see how or why. It's something here that either you don't understand how or how to proceed forward. Four of Pentacles. Hierophant. And the Emperor. So loves, I feel here that if you wanted some sort of communication from somebody, that's coming. But you need to make sure you are in the driver's seat. Because I feel here Whatever it's offered, whatever it's given to you, might not be exactly what you wanted or, or needed because it's very small. Could be an ax of yours. Four of pentacles and six of pentacles. You are not with them anymore. Try, tries to give you certain things here because, well, this is my obligation. You feel like it's kind of the, the impression or the first feeling here. It's feeling like, oh, finally, this one want to make a manly thing. Might not be the case or might not be exactly. So 
try to be in a balanced way, whatever it is, because I see here there's something here in regards to divorce or in regards to something here in regards to money, money-wise. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. You've been thinking quite a lot of this. If this will come, I don't feel they ever will do this. I don't. It's kind of a, a struggle. Try to be a little more easy on yourself and try to to take some time for you with this temperance energy. There's a lot of energy here that needs to be balanced instead of like freaking out for everything it's kind of like well they shall pass this is not forever this is not my final destination and indeed it is not four of pentacles ace of cups ten of cups queen of swords Four of Swords. So, Pisces, whoever comes towards or here, they adjust with certain promises, not necessary with the work to be done. Okay? I have Aries, Sag, Taurus, Libra. So if somebody here is in separation with somebody, that person will come, but will not come here to help. Quite the opposite. They are trying to benefit. And my apology for those of you who feel is a little harsh, but that's what we are speaking here on the channel. Truth shall come out. So, Pisces, don't let your kindness to be taken as a weakness. Because somebody here is, let's say, a little sneaky. Their behavior will not going to change. Even they will come and will be quite, let's say, speaking of honesty. Or will look honest that they are here to put work into. I feel here if somebody here needs to help you financially, them to be with you, it's more likely you take them also on your shoulders. They're not here to take and it's kind of take charge and make the things work. Uh -uh. You know, they are those kind of people like, well, somebody here says one time, it's better to keep a husband or a wife and I divorce them because you get broke. That's what I'm feeling here. This person tries to have something just for them not to do the work or pay or give you something. So stand in your position. Okay? Because I'm feeling here this is a tough one. So yes, they might, they might come here to you and might say certain things, but I feel here they will speak because that's what they think is good for them. Not necessarily that what is that they feeling because I see a very hot and cold energy. Most likely it's more than cold and hot here. It's like cold to the ice. What's the emperor here speaking of? Six of cups. They will go exactly where they've been. So remember of the past. Seven of pentacles. It's like they try to win some time for themselves. For whatever reason. Five of cups.
And Five of Cups here speaks that don't cry over something which is gone already. And the world as sooner as ends as better gets. It's like don't drag your feet. So later will not be those regrets. It's a very strong, let's say, as a like, like a red flag or like a warning for some of you. And the, the bigger energy is kind of know your worth, Pisces. You are not an option. You are the only option. Don't let yourself to be considered or even think as an option because you are not. I do feel here there's a Pisces here who might struggle with the self-worth, with this Eight of Swords. I will not be doing great by myself or on my own. And give yourself time. Distance yourself a little bit from all this craziness. And then you'll see. Is this truly what you want? Whatever this person is offering you, a breadcrumb energy and just a message, a flirt or whatever, call it very small or something which is feeling like balance, something like feel like happy. And I feel here giving yourself time, you will realize that it's time to step up. It's a new level of energy that a Pisces needs to embrace and clearly might be a little or might be quite unfamiliar. Take your time. Or make time to find out. Eight of Wands. See the move, see the opportunities. Also, don't just think on your own. Talk with others. Communicate. And stand up for yourself. You know, before letting anybody to make their nest next to you, make sure their intentions are pure and clean as well you see them from all possible angles because just going by the energy of what they are, what they are saying might not be actions or deeds not words the tower because I'm feeling here once you, it's kind of a re a negotiation or renegotiation or there's certain compromises that will start up with the tower. You will be quite surprised. Whatever it's coming. Three of cups. And six of wands. And this could be by the holidays, but sun. There is something new out there. For some of you, you seeing this reading, you will end up to make a certain decision. Also, for some of you, based on what you communicate with a friend or based on the communications or the things around this person, you will realize where you're standing with them. But I feel here this kind of like this is not the time to play. So later you will not gonna be in this energy of I wish I'm not doing this anymore. 
So six of wands speaks that you are very much will overcome whatever it is quite beautifully. Also for some of you there is help there when you at least expecting it. And for others of you it's kind of like trying to or wanting to compromise or renegotiate here certain terms, you will end up to to see the true face of this person or even clear this situation. But the Six of Wands as the last card here, very much that tells you that it's something here you you need to do so you can prosper and that way is to not let yourself down or to not give up yeah the eagle spirit very much speaks to you see from a higher perspective wait for important information Surround yourself with the protective energy. That's what I'm speaking here. Be careful who you let next to you. And move beyond ancestral patterns. You know, a lot of karmic energy is around this week, even around this month. And move beyond ancestral patterns. If... Somebody here, parents or grandparents, well, this is it. And I got to be like my father or my mother that they, they stay together. Move beyond that. It's time for you to leave, not to survive. Mother Earth, because you deserve to be loved and comforted. I really love this card here. And it's very, very similar with the, with the mother figure here. Let's see. And I will show you here in this deck. I really, really love. That's why I choose in the first place these two decks for this week. Because I see the energy in such a strong way that's coming in. Look at here. So here might be a mother who struggles. But the sun, you're moving towards light, loves. That's for sure. And look at here. How is this empress here? And how is this the other one? Pretty much feeling like yeah so here we are loves you are not alone stand up for yourself because you absolutely deserve way better so Pisces goodness thank you for watching and we'll see you next time namaste